a little trick that we do on Lake Erie because we freeze our fish right away the same day as we bleed them out is what it's called. So to do that, you actually snip in here. We use tin snips, you can use a knife, but this works a lot better. And I don't know if you can see if there's a little artery right there that I'm gonna snip. And that bleeds these things out. A Little bit messy job, but it makes a world of difference. I'll show you guys uh, one that was cut and one that's not, so you can see the difference. And we just turn our live well here on manual and just kind of flushes that blood out of there. And then we'll throw these fish in the cooler. So this wall here you can see was bled and you can actually see that artery right here. So you cut through the meat and there's this artery right here and you cut that, all of the blood comes out of the fish. So this is one, I'm just gonna show you guys how big a difference this makes. This is one we did not cut, not blood, all right? So I'm gonna start with that one. And we're gonna compare this filet to the other one I got laying there that has them blood. Okay, look at all, I can already see all the blood pouring out of this thing, it's nuts. Look at that. Look at all that blood in that filet, all right? So that's all blood that we're gonna have to rinse out and that's where a lot of your fishy taste comes from as well. And we're fishing on Lake Erie right now and a lot of times we're, we're cleaning these fish and we're vacuum sealing and packaging them within an hour. Now if you're at home and you got a couple days, you're up north or whatever and you can soak them in some water, that's fine, that'll get all that blood out. But when we're packaging these fish within an hour or two, when we're cleaning them, we want them good and clean. And the way we do it with a quick rinse, they're good to go. So this is the non-blood fillet, and it is bloody. So now I'm gonna take the one that we cut here, and we're gonna compare. You can already tell there is a ton less blood. All right. So this is one that we bled a few hours ago out in the boat. Almost exact same size fish and look at the difference. This one, a few quick rinses and it's gonna be ready to be packaged blood free. This one, we probably would really have to work hard and massage it or let it soak in, in some water for at least a day before that thing would be ready to freeze. So great trick. Um, highly recommend it if you're planning on fishing, cleaning, and packaging your fish all within a short time frame.